你也在不？craving for this morning? Uh, kaya toast yeah. and soft boiled eggs. <laughs> and that's exactly what we got. Though, disclaimer, um, not a disclaimer, but your eggs will not always come out perfectly, but for me, anyway, one crack is fine. <laughs> but this one is perfect. Um, this one is actually a soya um, iced coffee, which looks really nice. You want to try it first? But I think we have to mix it though. Okay. I just saw your milk okay. all the way. <laughs> the, I was tempted to get the, the milk tea version. Sorry, the soya tea version. So it's just better than cream. Yeah. We are in the most touristy place. This is the Tarki Mall. Um, but we're gonna have an adventure and try more of like the really really local bits, uh, local restaurants. Hopefully after this, but yeah, there's a lot of healthy food here. So you can see there's like watermelon um, options, mung bean, red bean. There's just so many healthy options here, which is cool. Yeah. What are we waiting for? Uh, our kaya butter toast. Oh, it's tiny. Real Singapore experience. Oops. We are so millennial this way. I'm just using muscle memory. The last time I've been here was years ago. So, anybody who is a native of Singapore, if I'm doing something wrong with my food, feel free to let me know. But I remember we do this. Just a little dash and some pepper. Actually, in other restaurants, when they serve the egg, it's already been poured for you, the soy sauce and the pepper. But since I noticed it's not like that here, we're just doing it ourselves. In terms of quantity, I just, I don't know, just put a dash. Alright, let's eat.
Welcome to Little India, we're still in Singapore. To go inside there and see. I think there's gonna be like some interesting street food inside. Yeah, there's not much. Let's go to the end. Yeah, we'll be quick. Ooh. Not the best place to walk with your really wally. You see that they sell packets of tissue. And I and like in the food market, I remember them putting it there to reserve your seat. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, they have um sugar cane. I'd like some sugar cane. Oh, what food is that? Can't read Chinese, but... Um, coconut milk. Mm -hmm. I think I'd like some um, sugar cane, if we see any sugar cane. Oh, sorry. I'm cautious. Well, getting burned. Okay. Well, actually, actually, I'd like to walk here for a while. Just, I'll just make a little loop. Let's, let's go here in the shade. Are we going back there? Oh, let's walk, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's walk here. Okay. 
你也在不？Trading. Damn. So I know we're meant to be in like little India, but it feels like Chinatown. <laughs> like a combination of both. something I'd usually take a video of but I just want to show you how cool this is we're at the per Peranakan Museum I hope I pronounced that right if I didn't whoops um, but then this is like a free charging station here um, yeah you can just leave it here set your own code to leave it while you're enjoying the museum and then you can also leave your bags here which is kind of cool so free charging and lockers so that is a sign of a, a very very First world country. Museums are free and Yeah. Well, okay. So the museum is not free. We paid it's twelve Singapore dollars for Eddie. Wait, Mom, what can I give this to you, please? For Eddie, and then um, and if you are a senior or a person with disability, it comes out to eight Singapore dollars. So yeah, it's not free, but yeah, you have a free locker and charging station. Right, I'm gonna go to So yeah, catch you later. Oh, wait. oh my god, this is so cool. You can also refill your bottles here. Oh my goodness, the Philippines. I really wish we can uh, improve very soon with um, how things are run around. And especially in to your guide here at the museum. Now, the tour today will take slightly over an hour. Uh, if you need to go or you're uh, in a year or two years' time, and then of course, pandemic hit. Right? And with the pandemic, everything got pushed back, and we only reopened in February of this year. So for you, you're just in time for our <laughs> newly reopened uh, museum. This is really cool. And I learned that Peranakan, well, I'll show you later, but per Anak, Anak is child. Um, I'll get back to you later with what I learned, but it's yeah, pretty cool. I, I highly suggest for you to come here and do the tour. In front of the house, they have a lantern, and the lantern is gold. <laughs> Stuff that you uh, see in the kitchen, yeah. Neon aware. Neon aware, yeah. So this is so cool. I'll just do a quick uh, loop of the things that I loved about the Penacan. Penacan? Pen Paranacan. Paran yeah, well, here it is. Paranacan. Let me just show you. Yeah, there's a spelling. Paranacan. Tour. I really suggest for you to come here with the with with the spoken tour because people like me, um, I can read, but I just I prefer having something more interactive more interactive so our tour guide was just so amazing explaining everything but okay my favorite bits if you look at the the artwork inside um it kind of shows you the wealth of the penacan uh culture uh so if you want to show that you are coming from a prestigious family you get the ones with designs inside and i'll tell you what what uh peranacan what what are who are they basically but anyway check out this collection here yeah there's a lot of the artwork inside Peranakan oh my goodness Eddie would be the best person to explain it where did he go he is gone but Peranakan basically are the people who are local to 
uh, Singapore back then. I don't know what Singapore was now. Where? How did the Peranakan people came to come to be? Okay, come, come, come. Yeah. So it's a, it's the locals who were originally in Singapore, and then um, the men who came here and who traded. Yeah, the traders. They you know they ended up. Uh, got a bit lonely. Yeah, they got a bit lonely. They got to know the local women and where are they coming from? Okay, let's see if I remember five different places, okay. right? Okay. Uh, the first one, well, I'll remember India okay. and it's divided into two, the Hindu and the Muslim. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is from Middle East, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's three. And then... That's the best thing. No, Chinese. Chinese, yeah, Chinese. Uh, and then the fifth one is from uh, Eurasia. <laughs> European, Asian. Uh, yeah, they're Eurasians basically. They're from Europe, so Great Britain, um, the Netherlands, etc. etc. I want to show the videos, the, the photos basically. Um, I'm gonna cut. Floor. Yeah, it's the bottom floor. But there's some photos downstairs of what the families look like. It's so interesting. Actually, in the Philippines, we also have the Peranakan people, but there's no yeah, term. No, it's. it's, it's Mestizo. Yeah, mestizos, mestizas, and, but uh, that's particularly pertaining to the Spanish influence. Yeah, but what about Phil well, Phil Chinese? Um, yeah, but that's like individual terms for. But here it's just Peranakan, basically. You've got a lot of Malaysian influence in the south as well. Have that's Malaysian cool. influence, uh, even Indian too. Indian. Actually, I want to show the map. Come on, let go really fast now. Uh, before my battery dies, but I really 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 enjoyed the tour here um, Again, I really like it interactive someone explaining to me because oh here, oh, here, here, here. Run. run 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 before the battery dies Okay, the map So basically this is where we are now. We're in Singapore and basically everything surrounding Singapore is how the Peranakan began so starting from China. Where's China? Here so far Guangzhou, where? Guangzhou. 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 And then you have the the Arabs here. They went all the way here. Something about like the wind blowing, going towards. Where's Eddie? Eddie left me. The wind blowing towards Singapore. That's why they all ended up here. Hence the arrows, right? And then you have Europe, right? Because they were sailing towards Singapore because of the wind, right? Yeah. So you see the arrows pointing there, and then from China pointing there. <laughs> I'm like so bad at explaining something that's history based, but yeah, I can just explain the basics. And then, and then, and then the, the photos of how the Peranakans look. Um, I don't remember. Okay, this one is the the an Indian person, an Indian man who married a local, and he's wearing like a Western suit. And then this one is uh, Chinese Peranakan. Yeah, Chinese Peranakan. Well, where's the husband though? Anyway, I don't He's see away. him. He's busy working. He's busy working, making more Peranakans. Peranakan. Okay, and then wait, what what am I missing? Um, the Arabs, Malcos, or any? Oh, I think this one is yeah, an Arab family. So there's a tennis racket there, and I can't remember what do you call the hat, the the hat thingy. This one here. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, there's a there's a, it's still being used today. I just can't remember. And then there's a guy whose last name is Class. He's from what's it called? Yeah. Then there's a guy uh, from a Western man from the Netherlands. Where is he? Ah, here he is. Um and yeah, so he married a local. And that's his family. So there's the Eurasian bit of the Peranakan. So it's it's really fun. And then you can see what's it called? Oops. So it says if you stand here, this is during the pandemic, they didn't want people to be touching. And it's meant to like please raise Oh there it goes. There's my hand and then I'm just gonna put it here. Oop, and then you just leave it there long enough and then it works. Then who do we want to see? Who do we want to see? Da -da 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 -da. I don't want to. Oh, this girl, she's smiling. Oh, it works. This is so cool, interactive. Oh, here she is. Sally Pinay. Maybe it's like Sally Pinay from the Philippines because she's so smiley. 
Yeah, or, or because of Vina, a lot of Filipinos, um, well, most of us like to smile, but if you look at the, the photos here, a lot of them don't, but this one is smiling. She's smiling. She's smiling. He's not. Where? <laughs> These kids, are. they look so naughty. They're smiling. This guy's not smiling. She's not smiling. Who else? Let's, let's look for all the smiley people. He's half smiling. She's not smiling. So interesting. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have learned all of this if it were not oh, for the this, tour. This is, a, this is a funny one that got my attention. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, it's it's Bilai too, the last name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, love it. So, all in all, what we paid for, I think I think it's okay. I, I haven't done the conversion rate, but for me, it's eight eight Singapore dollars. For Eddie, it's twelve.